Hey y'all, it's Mary and I have my empties. And I have this basket I got from the Dollar Tree when things were still $1. And the reason I like it is it's not very deep because I have some cabinets in my laundry area that are not very deep. So this is the perfect place for me to throw my empties. Now, when I show you my empties, I don't show you everything I use because I don't save the packaging for sheet masks and eye masks. And that, I have to show you that every week. There's so much stuff, but um, I just don't because um, that stuff is wet and gooey and I just don't need any ants. You know what I mean? So I'm going to start off with this fun one. I don't usually show you candy kind of things, but I got this in um, Silver Swag. This is the Candy Club um, Tray Chic, this is called. It was a vanilla creme brulee. These were like little balls. They were so delicious. And y'all thought they would be really delicious when you saw them, as did I. It took me a while because they were very rich, but they're gone. As you can see, they're gone. Delicious. All right. So, you know, I always have dry shampoo. Always have to have dry shampoo because I love, I have to use dry shampoo. Um, I wash my hair every other day. So on the day that I don't wash it, I have to use the dry shampoo. So one of my favorite brands, it's very reasonable. That helps, that helps me to like it. It's not your mother's brand. This is one is, I buy the different, oh, do we have to see your bottom every time? Um, I buy the different ones just because I like different scents. And this is the Texturizing Beach Babe. And um, this is in Toasted Coconut. It smells fabulous. And these are like six or seven dollars. So they're very reasonable. Would you sit down, my dear? Okay. <laughs> and this I've gotten, I think I, we got these in the glossy box. Um, different glossy boxes and even the advent calendars and stuff. But this is the Authentic Beauty Concept Dry Shampoo. And this is a sample size, a deluxe sample size, as you can see. It's perfect for throwing in your purse. I love it. This is really nice. I've never seen this in full size anywhere that I shop, but I really like this one. Very, very good. Camille is just knocking everything over. And this I got um, on sale from, I think Sephora or Ulta, can't remember which, but I bought a bunch of uh, dry shampoo when they had a sale going. And this is the Batiste brand. You're gonna have to move it. You're gonna have to stop. And this is the dry, uh, the volumizing shampoo. I really like this, but this stuff isn't cheap. Um, here's the, I'm gonna beat her silly one day. <laughs> here's the size comparison. And this one is, I wanna say it's 11 or $12. So even though I like it, it's, I gotta go with, I gotta, you know, since I have to use it often, I have to go with less expensive. And I got this Southern Bell. This is Dry Bar brand. I want to say that I possibly got this from Glossy Box somewhere along the line. Um, as you can see, it's a it's a deluxe sample, so I don't think I ever got this in Ipsy. But um, this is not a dry shampoo. This is a, a foaming um, boost root lifter, and I liked it. Um, yeah, was it anything special? Not necessarily, but I did like it. If I got it again, I would use it again. And y'all, I have a video about this pro these products. Um, they are one of my favorite products. Life-changing Lumi got through. Um, this is a liquid. Um, it's not a solid. And this is a cream. Love it. Lumi is life-changing. Absolutely life-changing. I'll put that video below. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I want to, I usually don't save little packages like this, I, you know, like I said, but this one I wanted to show you because this was from, um, this was from my uh, beauty, or uh, uh, Space NK, um, my advent calendar, or I got, um, I bought something from them and, and this was something I got from them and it, it's by the brand Sisley, S-I-S-L-E-Y. And I have never had anything from them before, so I want to tell you about it. This was Black Rose Cream. It, I was able to use it twice. Very rich and very, very nice. You know, could I tell in two times if it did any good for my skin? No, but it, but I did feel good using it. It felt really good. It was very moisturizing. So if you ever see a jar of that, you might want to try it. It definitely smells of rose. And it's not a light scent. I'm not saying it's going to bowl you over, bowl you over, 
but bowl you over. Is that how I say it? But it is, it's, it's rose scented. Okay. And I do use wipes from time to time, not very often, but like if I swatch for uh, filming or whatever, um, and sometimes other, you know, other reasons, but this is just a, a wipe package that I have from the creme shop. Just, I'm just showing it to you because I like these wipes. I like this brand. The creme shop has great cheap masks and they have very, very nice wipes. So I thought I'd show you that. And then I have, um, oh, this was, this is a sad story here. Sad story, y'all. I've never had anything from Hank and Henry. And I got this. I don't remember where I got it now. Actually, I think I have something from Hank and Henry that Carol Gardner gave me. And it's a lippy. And it's a, uh, like a diamond lippy. Um, but it's just, it's more of a, um, it doesn't have a color to it. Um, but Hank and Henry, um, it has a funny name to it, but I can't even read that. Uh, something with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. This is an eyeliner. And y'all, I went to use it and it was open. It was open a little bit. See, it, it, it's not hard. It's not easy to close. So I didn't have it closed properly and it dried out. I tried reconstituting it, it didn't work. I didn't know you had to snap it really hard like that. So I'm very, very sad because this, I was liking that, I was liking that. Um, I have this from Laura Geller. It looks like a lippy, but this is not. This is a, um, uh, it looks like a bullet lip lipstick. It is a lip scrub. It's like a sugar lip scrub, but it's, it's uh, in a bullet shape. And then, you know, you would uh, take your lipstick off with it. And I really like that when it got toward the bottom, it got a little dried out, so it fell apart. But I had it a long time. I used it quite a long time. Um, and now I have some mascaras to show you. I have a couple that I've received from um, Clever Beauty Box. And um, this one had a gold top to it that kept falling off. Um, this is by the, ba the brand Pudair. And I've liked their lippies, but um, this was, uh, everything in the Clever Beauty Box is dated for quite a bit out. So, but it was almost like it was dried out. I like the wand a lot, but it flaked and it, it didn't stay on all day. So that was a bit disappointing. And um, this one it is, she does, Big Lash, really pretty component. And this one just didn't, um, it, it's nice enough, but it just didn't have a lot of coverage for me. Fabulous brush, I love the big brush, but not a lot of coverage for me for a mascara. And um, this one, I can't even read the name, X-P-T-T-E-E. -E. Um, it's a pretty component, but this one is, Camille is right under me. I don't want to see it. It sort of drips. It's drippy. Can you see that? And it was, um, it's definitely not um, waterproof. It sort of, it didn't last very long. It would start leaking. My eyes leak. So maybe if my eyes didn't leak, it wouldn't do that. But it was runny, a bit runny. So I hope that makes sense there. And then I have this um, CoverGirl Exhibitionist. I think I got this in the Dollar General uh, Beauty Box. And this was pretty good. Pretty good for like an everyday, an everyday mascara. Oh, it's it's now dried and flaky and it's all over Camille. All right, Camille, stop, stop, stop. And it has a very nice brush. I like that brush. So, but you can see it's, it's all dried out. It's all dried out. Oof. sorry, sorry, lovey. She's white and have all this, but hey, don't be biting me. Ooh, y'all, this feisty girl. And then I have Elf Lash It Out. This is, a, again, very nice, very nice everyday mascara and a good brush on there too. So I like that. And just a little bit more, I have some moisturizers. I am a person that I don't just use one thing at a time. I use several things. It's because of all I get in, in the beauty boxes. If you get beauty boxes, you know, there's a lot. So if you wanna try a few different things, um, 
it's if you stick with one item, it'll take you a long time to get through it. So if you're doing two or three items, it takes you even longer. So the Cat Berkey, um, I got this. This is the Vitamin C Intensive Face Cream. Very, very nice. Nice, thick cream. Um, where did I get this from? I think I got this from Ipsy. You can see it's just about gone in there. Nice glass, frosted glass, very pretty component. Super expensive. I think this is like $115 or something like that. I liked it. Yes, I liked it. I liked it. And this took me forever to use because look at the size of this jar. This is an eye cream. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Expressive. I, am I saying expressive? It says Eye Revive Mask. And it's absolutely stunning, the component. Love it, love it. Took me forever to use it, but I did. I used every bit of it. <laughs> Took forever. And just a lovely, um, somewhat gel-like, so uh, just lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, Elemis. I love Elemis. It's, it's expensive. And one of my very favorite um, creams, serums, whatever, anything from this brand, um, I have really enjoyed and it it doesn't get talked about enough. I don't know why, maybe because of the name. It's called Juice Beauty. It's not a name that sounds bougie, not at all, but this is um, the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Retinol Overnight Serum. That's what this one is. And it's this pump, it's really gorgeous packaging. And um, I pumped it till it wouldn't pump anymore. What comes out of here is a little bit of a, a light white cream, and it has a little bit of a citrus scent to it. And it is delicious. My skin loved it, loved it, loved it. I love it. And I do have more of this. And um, in fact, I had several of these. So I, I'm pretty sure I put one of these in my big 2000 giveaway because... I'm a, you know, how long, I don't, it doesn't have a date on it, but I don't want to have it for five years. You know what I mean? I want somebody to get use out of it. So, um, I don't, this, this isn't cheap either. See, these are things that I can't afford on my own, but because they come in boxes, I can, I can use them. I'm pretty sure this came in BoxyCharm originally, and that is it. So, thank you for stopping by and seeing my empties, y'all. Empties are a lot of fun. I think they're a lot of fun. I love to see what people like and don't like, and I love to see if they have the same opinions I have. Um, and also, you know, we are all individuals. So if I tell you something that I love, you may not like it. And, uh, you know, don't be feel funny if you don't like it. If you don't like a particular brand, um, like, you know, this Kate Berkey, even though it was a very nice cream, I didn't love it. It's not like I would say, oh, I have to have that, no. If I get it again, I'll use it. It was nice. But this, I loved. Do you see my difference? And um, so that's what I'm saying. Everybody's different. You may like something that I don't like. And um, also because we have different skin. My skin is basically normal is the best way I can describe it. Sometimes if it's really hot out, I might get a little oily here. And also in the winter, I get a little dry on the outskirts of my face. Um, that, you know, so moisturizing, uh, using masks, that type of thing really helps me. Um, so that is my empties and thanks for stopping by to see them. And I hope that y'all have a great day. Talk to you soon, bye.